Someone asked me the other day, where does algae in the tank come from? And this is my Brita water filter. And I thought that it would be a great example of where algae comes from. Now this thing is really funny because it's, in terms of what you have in your house, it's a pretty good sealed unit. It has this flapper which seals and then it has a lid. And then it has their Brita filter system. And yet, in the bottom of this thing, now that summer is around the corner, it's getting warmer, daylight is increasing, there's algae growing on the bottom of this water. Now this is municipally supplied water that does use chlorines to treat it, and yet there's algae in the bottom. So assuming that my <clears throat> municipal water supply is effectively removing the algae through all their processes and then their residual chlorine, where does the algae come from? It comes from the air. There's algae spores floating through the air. Um, I remember my professor in my first microbiology lab, she said, it's raining microbes all the time. She says it's raining viruses and bacteria and fungal spores and algae spores. And if you uh, work in a lab with the right agar medium and you leave the lid of the plate open, and you close it, you come back the next day and you have a forest of microbes because it literally is raining. So the algae comes from the air, from outside. And so that's one thing that I think most people don't realize. I mean, algae can possibly come from fish you're putting in your tank. It can come from rocks and stuff you're getting from streams. But even in like a perfectly sealed, I say perfectly sealed, in the context of the household, um, in a sealed system like this, which actually gets somewhat filtered to what Brita is accomplishing that, I have no idea, you still get algae on the bottom. And so, I think that's a really important thing to understand. It's the algae spores are raining from the sky. So there you have it. Even if this tank had no fish in it, but I filled it up with water, I gave it light, it would develop some pretty significant algae like my Brita filter because algae is falling from the sky. And if you're keeping Trophius and other uh, herbivorous fish, it's not a big deal. Some people like it and some people don't. In a later video, I'll give you some uh, good tips on how to control it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have yourselves a great day.